Hey, it's Kendra, and welcome back to my channel. I've been wanting to make some new channel art for my YouTube banner, so I decided to make a video of it, because um, it might interest you guys. I'm in no way like a graphic designer or anything, but um, I do love to play around with my iPad and Procreate, so I thought I would show you guys how I do it. So I first start by using the correct dimensions for YouTube banners. Um, you can just find this on Google. I've made a pre-made canvas size for this, since I've made a couple of them already, and um, pro tip, if you ever make a a canvas that's the same size always in Procreate that's not one of the ones that they come with you can make defaults of your own which is really helpful um, and I actually made uh, kind of like set colors for my blog and my YouTube channel I've made my own palette so you can see here you can select any color and drop it into a palette um, what I did is I went to Pinterest and I just looked up photos of color palettes that I really like and I just color matched them and made my own palette so the top one is the palette that I made and which is what I'm going to use uh, for this channel art and I like this because it just really creates a cohesive color theme um, because I tend to not stick to them so this kind of forces myself to do that so I'm just going to make the background pink and I'm using this pen I will link all of the pens down below um, in my description this is one that came with procreate and I'm just doing some like abstract swooshes in the background I really wanted to do like rainbows, but that's really overdone right now as much as I love them and I think they're so cute um, and really vibey. I just wanted to do something different. So this is kind of like that nice like boho theme. So, and it's just really easy to do honestly. So I did a light blue and a darker blue uh, to kind of layer them on top of each other. And I just played around with it and found um, the combination that I like. Another thing that I love about Procreate is you can go back to previous illustrations and copy them. So I made these cute icons for the intro that you guys always see from my videos, and I didn't want to redraw those and I wanted to incorporate them into my banner, so I just copied that layer on this animation and pasted it right into this graphic. Um, and then you can just resize it, it doesn't take the background with it or anything, so it's just like a nice little PNG that I plop in there. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and kind of move it around and I do have the um, lines on in the background so I can kind of center things which is really nice when you're making something that's going to be more like in a set size like more professional looking. And now moving on to the lettering. In the past I've done like cursive um, lettering uh, but I wanted to stick with a more solid graphic font now. So I'm just playing around with the pen size. Um, I went in with black ink just so it stands out against everything else in the background. Um, I, funnily enough, I really struggle with S's and my last name is Strickland, so I, it's you know, a lifelong struggle I've gone through. But uh, they, they're just kind of difficult sometimes, so it took me a while to get that right. And I kept everything in its own layer, so I was able to easily center this because I can never center text when I write it. So I just wrote it, didn't worry about being in the center, and moved it back. And then I'm doing my name in smaller lettering, um, just because I like how it looks. Going in with a second layer on top of the first layer, so the second layer looks a little bit neater. When I'm doing graphic font in all capital letters especially, uh, I like to do this so it, it just I have something to trace against so it looks better, um, especially with those darn S's. Uh, and then I'll go ahead and tidy everything up after that. I didn't go too crazy with correcting the letters, I just wanted to smooth out some of the curves, especially in the S, um, and connect some of the letters a little bit more tightly. Um, but yeah, like I said, you don't have to go too crazy on this, especially because I wanted um, a more messy, handwritten look. Alright, well that is it for this video. I hope you guys like this new channel banner. I wanted something that was simple but also relayed a little bit more of what I do, which is DIY focused. Um, yeah, I hope you guys like it. Let me know what you think in the comments down below and I will see you in the next video.